People think having a vision is everything. A lot of you have got vision. A lot of you have seen visions. A lot of you have had dreams. But why are you not making it? It's a sign that having a dream, having a vision is not everything. If there be something that you should have first before you have any other thing in life, it's called wisdom. There are many, uh, I was, was it you I was telling about young ministers? There are many young ministers that have the vision, the vision is clear, the vision is clean, the vision is certain, but there is no wisdom. What makes a man great is not vision. Somebody said it's all about vision. It's not all about vision. It's all about wisdom. There are many young people in business, in ministry, and any other faculty of ministry or life that are using vision to achieve, but vision cannot cause you to achieve. There are many men that have got visions, but they die with their visions. What makes you great is not vision, but it is what carries the vision. What is it that is carrying your vision? That is the thing we should talk about, not the vision. Because whenever somebody is born, God gives them a vision. They are born with a vision for a vision and with a reason and for a reason. All of you here, every head present has got a vision. Every head present is dreaming. But why are you all not fulfilling destiny? It's one thing. Vision is there, but there's no wisdom. The Bible says wisdom, is there any man that lacks wisdom? Let him ask from the Lord. Wisdom is not intellect. Some of you are not wise. You are intelligent. There are many people who are intelligent yet not wise again. Wisdom is something that is given by God. So a lot of you are eloquent. You are sanguines. When you speak, you talk, you talk, you are good at speech. But in your talking, there is no wisdom. There are many people who are intelligent. They will utter certain words here and be like, wow. But if you weigh the words, you discover that there is no wisdom in there. There is this thing called, I saw a certain young person talk about leadership. Talking about, no, young people must rule. Young people must be given chance. It's not something that you need to get. It's not something that you need to lobby for. It's not something that you need to use words for. But it is something that needs to be imparted. We don't want to be a generation that got the baton from elderly people by force. Are you getting what I'm saying? We want to be a generation that will be given at the appointed time. Not a generation that will get it by force. The kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent take it by force. That happens. But when it comes to authority, God does not negotiate. Am I talking to somebody here? In the year that King Uzziah died, I also saw the Lord. So I only saw the Lord when the other one had died. So we need to be a generation that should wait. We need to apply a lot of wisdom. It's like ministry. Many, many young ministers are in ministry. The vision is there. People are able to see the vision. But there are a lot of defects. You climb, you come down. Why? The answer is one. We are using vision more than wisdom. We are using gifts more than wisdom. A gift the Bible says your gift shall open doors, shall take you before who? Kings. 
Now imagine there is a king there and I'm gifted. Do you know that if you are a prophet, you're able to prophesy. When a king calls you, the, when, when you go before the king, do you know that you're not supposed to prophesy? There are many people that went, they were called by a minister, they were called by a president, they were called by great men in the name of a prophet. When they reached, they prophesied. You don't prophesy when you meet a king. When you meet a king, you know, your gift shall take you before kings. When you reach the presence of kings, kings are seated. You reach there. You, 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 you sit there. What will cause the king to recommend you is what you will say. Your gift would have opened the door. But what you say can close the door or it can still give you promotion. There are many people who had a gift and their gift, their gifts opened the door for them. But when they entered the door, people were disappointed. Why? The gift was present, but wisdom was absent. There are a lot of you here, you are gifted. There are a lot of you here, you have the vision, but you lack wisdom. Even if you are here today, you are a prophet. When you go before them, they already know you are a prophet. But what else can you offer? So, you may be a gifted preacher. You may be a gifted prophet. You may be a gifted apostle. You may be a gifted prophet. But if you lack wisdom, you are going nowhere. So, when...